The American College of Radiology and the Society of Breast Imaging are recommending annual mammography beginning at age 40, which is, which is our standard guidelines. Um, the American Cancer Society recently issued updated guidelines in which they now recommend that women from 40 to 44 have the option to start screening mammography annually um, after they discuss that with their doctor. And from 45 to 54, women should have annual mammography. And then from 55 onwards, they should have every other year mammography and continue that as long as they're in good health. So 2D mammography is our standard mammography we've been doing for years where we compress the breast in the mammogram unit and we take two pictures of each breast. 3D mammography, or what's more formally called digital breast tomosynthesis, is a new technique that's been available for the last several years in which the x-ray tube, rather than taking one exposure, moves in an arc over the patient acquiring many small exposures as it goes through the breast tissue. We then get a, a, a data set, which instead of having two images of each breast, we may have hundreds of images of the breast. And that allows us to scroll through that data set and separate out overlapping tissue and perhaps see cancers that are hidden inside. So breast density refers to the tissue composition of the breast. And every woman's breast is composed of a mixture of glandular and fatty breast tissue. The fatty tissue appears uh, relatively gray on the mammogram, and the dense tissue appears white on a mammogram. A breast cancer looks white on a mammogram, and the normal glandular tissue will look white. So if you have lots of dense tissue and a small cancer, it may be hidden by that tissue or masked by the surrounding tissue. Um, it's somewhat analogous to trying to see a snowman in a snowstorm. Tomosynthesis we think is very helpful in dense tissue because it separates out that dense tissue and we're able to see better inside it. Um, breast ultrasound is another screening test that is designed to look for breast cancer that may be hidden by that dense breast tissue. So the BIRAD score is an assessment category that we assign to every mammography report. This was put out by the American College of Radiology a number of years ago and it stands for Breast Imaging Reporting and Data System. It's an attempt to categorize in clearly understood terms what our findings are and what our recommendations are. So for instance, BIRADS categories one and two are negative and benign, respectively. Category three means there's a finding on the film we think is very likely to be benign, but we are going to watch it for any kind of change. And categories four and five are the more suspicious categories in which there's a finding that we think merits a biopsy to exclude cancer. It's very important, I think, when choosing a mammography center to understand who's reading your mammogram. In other words, uh, we prefer to have breast imaging specialists reading mammography. We know from studies that they outperform general radiologists in finding breast cancer and they also tend to work up fewer benign findings.